Hello once again YouTube. Today I'll be showing you my personal artifact route. Uh, you've probably seen several videos on it, so if you've seen those, you probably aren't going to see anything new. Maybe a spot or two that I have found specially. Because I was actually using an artifact route that I saw online, but then I found uh, a few more spots. So, <clears throat> if you're here just for the locations, in the end, just like the boss farming video, I'll have a summary of what the spots are. But right now, I'll be showing you how I farm each location and where exactly they are. I still have a lot to do with you. So my first step, overall, is to change my team. Because I want to have a different party setup. Why do I want a different party setup? Because artifacts, these artifacts, you can get them without fighting. So I'm putting two Animu characters for the Elemental Resonance and Kaya to reduce my stamina consumption. So let's dig into the locations. The first one is right over here in Quinn's Village. It usually gives you two artifacts, but sometimes one. After that, you just go forward. And you can see this shines, but it's not an artifact, so we're going to skip it. But here, there's two more artifacts. And let's not forget, there's one more over here. There's also one more over there and there, but they're not artifacts. Like, yeah, so it doesn't matter. So we took these three. We're now going to go here. And what you have to know about artifacts is that they do not reset on the daily reset. For them to reset, you need to wait exactly 24 hours since you last took them. So be careful and make sure you don't miss them, the 24 hour gap. Personally, I would rather have it on the daily reset than 24 hours because it becomes kind of a chore when you're doing it like this. Okay, the next spot I'm going is over here. You might have noticed what is the similarity between these. It's the fact that all the places I'm going to have a star and that's pretty much with a star, I have set where my artifact locations are. <coughs> Excuse me for the coughing, I'm just kind of sick right now. But anyways, <clears throat> back to the route. Here, there's only one artifact. Well, there, could, there are two in the box usually, but as in overall, just one location. Yeah, as you saw, two. Next spot, this is one of my favorite spots because it has a lot of artifacts. You go right over here, then swim across. Right over there you can see a camp in the distance. And why is it so important to get these? Well, it's basically free artifact XP. You gain quite a decent chunk of XP, which helps you progress quite a lot faster. You can also buy, there's three locations uh, with artifacts that you can buy. I personally have bought them a few times, but overall I wouldn't recommend it because it's quite more expensive. Like, if you look at it uh, more towards resin, with 20 resin you gain 60k more, right? Well, with 10k more, uh, you can get 5 2 star artifacts. And 5 2 star artifacts are basically. Basically nothing, because if you farm an artifact domain for 20 resin, you get a lot more artifacts. And you, as you see, 10k, that means that if you buy the artifacts 6 times, it's as if you have used 20 resin. So that makes 32 star um, artifacts, which if you compare it to the XP you get from dungeon artifacts for 20 resin is, I think, lower. I haven't actually done the math on it. If you have, please write down in the comments. Is it actually worth it if you compare it more or less in Artifact XP to buy the ones from the weekly shops? <coughs> Another spot 
It's right over down there. We're going to jump. I got you sweating there. You thought I was gonna die. <laughs> I didn't. These are the next two. <coughs> and yeah, it would be a lot better if um, the whole artifact respawning was 24 hours and not... Um, wasn't 24 hours and was instead, um, you know... I really need to stop saying um and you know. <laughs> uh, if it was on the daily reset. Editor, edit that out. Oh wait, I don't have an editor. <laughs> well, we'll see. If the channel starts growing, I'll probably get an editor or learn how to edit my videos on my own. I think I did try before, but I didn't really enjoy it. Like, it's fun to see the end product, but the process to there isn't that enjoyable for me, uh, video editing-wise. Video recording, though, I do enjoy it. Uh, I'm gonna push this guy so he doesn't annoy me. And let's teleport. Next spot. <coughs> and yeah, um, if you guys know any locations that I don't show right now, please also leave that down in the comments. I want to maximize my free value from the daily stuff. And yeah, the reason why I recommended the Tua Nemo and Kaya is, as you see, I'm, you might not even notice though, because it's not all that much, but it is faster to use Tua Nemo and the Kaya so that I can dash more times before I get tired. I'll go more thoroughly on this at the end of the video where I'll show exactly what the element resonance is and how you can actually see the different kinds. <clears throat> yeah, this is another one of my favorite spots. A ton of artifacts in one place. I wish they were all just in one spot. <laughs> Ooh, a random event. Yeah, I hope you don't mind me detouring for a while. Ah, but I don't really have the characters for the fight. Sad. Because the random events is something you get, um, you can do up to 10 times a day for rewards. And, um, yeah, I would personally recommend you do it every day. I sometimes get lazy and I don't do it, but yeah, it gives you 1.6k more per random event, so it's quite a lot. That means 16k, so in 4 or 5, day, five days, you have got 20 resin for free, basically. Another spot is right down there. You can see the house. <coughs> A good thing about this spot is that you can even not only get the artifacts, but there's actually a bit of Jiu Chili right over here. And it gives you four artifacts. Next spot, I'm probably going to go and do an entirely separate video on the random events as a whole. Because they are quite a bit of a help. <coughs> There's one right below here. It's quite annoying because you can end up clicking on the cook instead of the artifacts. There's one over here, which is... I, I remember this one is one that wasn't shown in the original video I watched for artifacts. So if you also haven't seen this spot before, I hope this helped you. Like, it's really not a lot of extra artifacts, but it is something at least. I'm just gonna drop down so I can faster reach it. Yeah. 
and you can see over there the umbrella. Over here, I think this one didn't give artifacts. Yeah, it gave cabbages. We can also grab the chili here. On to the next spot, right over here. If you're wondering what I was checking over there, if you had seen the unusual helitro video I made, you would know that there that is one of the spawn points for the unusual helitro. So I just wanted to make sure if he's there and to get him if he is. One under the tent. And one over here. Next spot, down here. <coughs> Again, kind of sorry for coughing all the time. I just really want to end up being able to apply for the content creator role in the official Genshin Discord. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get at least four videos. I'm probably going to do six in total by the end of today, because I did get a few really good ideas but I should actually like after I make four videos for um, the content creator program I should probably just um, stop and release the others at later points hmm. yeah so the next spot is right over here And, like, if you want to just see the exact locations faster, you can use the YouTube option. I'm not sure if it's going to be available on my videos, but you can speed it up uh, up to two times the speed if you just want to find the locations. And also, in the, com in the description and in the comments, I'll leave um, an exact like a summary of the locations just on the map without the actual world checking and the last two spots one is over here <coughs> You can even grab a bit of raw meat on the way. Yeah, but I guess I won't. Like, this one is easiest to kill, but yeah, let's just let it live. Yeah, this is one of the tricky places where you like it can just slow down your artifact grind a bit. Ouch. And the last spot I know of is right over here. <coughs> so you go here, jump. You can see a time trial over there. I'm probably not going to do a video on that because there are millions and millions and I actually personally don't really like the time trials. Okay. Over here. And that was all. So now, <clears throat> now is the time that I'll show you all of the locations just as locations <coughs> so
So if you haven't really, if you didn't really have time to watch throughout the whole video and just want to find out the locations, I will show you that right now. You open up the map. The first spot I went is here. After that here, then here, then here. After that I went here. After that here, then here, here, here. Then I went to these two. Then to these three. After that this one here and this one here. Followed by this one. This one. This here. There is also one around here which as you saw you don't really you have to go a bit down the road to see it but i haven't marked it then here and finally over here uh my favorite spots and if you don't really have time to go through all these locations i would recommend you go a hundred percent here there's a lot in one spot also here it's literally the best possible place for a lot of artifacts at once uh, I didn't actually check this location even though it usually has artifacts and the reason for that is because I think it's a one-time claim but I did feel like it respawned but ever since then I haven't seen ever since I remember last claiming it I haven't seen it respawn yeah I guess there's a couple of artifacts here but you can only claim them once they don't refresh uh, and that's pretty much all the locations that I know of. If you know more locations uh, that I haven't checked, please comment down below. If you are interested in the game Genshin Impact as a whole, make sure you check out the official links. I will leave them at the top of the description of the video. There's the Discord, the Facebook, everything. Like, just to keep up to date to everything Mihoyo has. Uh... And I think that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully, I'll see you again with my next video on... I don't really know what exactly, but it's probably going to be related to the next event that's coming out tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, follow, go on Twitch, go on Mihoyo forums. See ya.